Hello, this is Evan Sackett, and uh, today I wanted to talk about a topic that um, I think that we all enjoy, and that's the topic of sex. I didn't realize it, but, our, well, I did actually realize it, but I didn't realize the extent of it. I mean, uh, our basic primordial instinct is the need to fuck, and we try to cover that up with rationality and reasoning and a uh, sense of purpose in life, but the fact of the matter is we're basically all animals and prisoners to our instincts. Um, animals in the wild have the sole intentions of doing nothing more than surviving and reproducing. And as human beings, um, our primordial need to spread our seed and to reproduce is what drives us. And um, I don't know, men, if you've ever noticed this, women, if you've ever noticed this, but if you'll notice, men always seem to have uh, a desire, a lot of them do anyway, to not wear condoms during activities, sexual activities, and they sometimes have desire to want to come in their partner. The reason for that is because they have this instinct to want to reproduce, to spread their seed. And uh, sometimes they fall prisoner to that instinct, and that one second of indulging in your instincts can result in 18 years of uh, repercussions or longer. And um, I've realized now that, you know, relationships and sexual activity, uh, they go hand in hand. Um, I've, uh, I've uh, always been a pillar, an explorer, uh, a seeker on the further regions of experience. And the experience that I'm currently engaging in is a purely uh, only sex type of relationship with a specific girl. And um, it's very difficult for me to not develop feelings for her. I can't help the way I feel, and I have feelings for her. She's such a, a, a person so much like myself. And when we get together, I feel this, this uh, never-ending connection but she's terrified of falling in love with me and uh, having a relationship because she's been fucked over so many times by men in the past and she she thinks that I'm full of shit, that I'm just a, a regular man that has every intention of taking advantage of her so she, she wants to keep the relationship purely sexual which um, I'll take, you know, I'm realistic, a realistic person I never have really believed in love so much as lust um, because uh, you'll notice sometimes you'll think that you're in love with a girl or you have these massive feelings for her but after you jerk off and come you'll realize that those feelings drastically reduce but it goes beyond that it goes beyond a sexual uh, longing for this girl it goes more into a type of, uh, of a desire to be connected with her uh, unfortunately Many women are bipolar. They suffer from um, just, you know, one day they're extremely kind, the next day they're extremely pissed off. And um, she's, I'm, I'm terrified she's going to disappear from my life simply out of fear of thinking that I'm going to want to try to get involved in a relationship with her. Um, all I can do is convince her that I do care about her, but I care about her enough to respect whatever she wants to do. And um, I'm not used to girls having feelings like this for me. And I think this girl, um, uh, it's flattering that she desires me in such a sexual way. But um, I realize now that, you know, uh, when we all get involved in relationships, we're all just, uh, uh, we're all right there, ready to um, be involved and connected with a person. But it's that longing. It's almost like there's a, a hole in my soul. But when I get with her, it's temporarily filled, and I feel like, you know, we can connect. And, you know, there's something about when you love someone and you have sex with someone, uh, you can share everything with them. It's not like love between a mother and a son, even though it's unconditional. There are boundaries between that type of love. But when a man and a woman, or a man and a man, or a woman or a woman, whatever, share a relationship... There are no walls. I mean, it's completely total connection. Uh, when they're lying together nude, holding each other, and they can they connect their bodies together, and 
that's, that hole is temporarily fulfilled. It's almost like we're all a bunch of halves walking around. None of us are complete. We're not complete unless we have a lover. And when we get that lover, we feel whole and complete, however temporarily. And I'm a realist, realistic person. All I can do is take it day by day and hope that this girl doesn't rapidly disappear from my life. Because um, my type, the type of girl that I seek, like myself, is not an easy thing to find. And now that I've found her after all this time, and I'm 25 years old, and I've been waiting for 15 years to find someone that I can connect to, and although I've come across many that I'd like to connect to, they didn't want to connect with me, but now there is one that does. And this hole in my soul is temporarily filled, though I'm not sure how long that's going to last. And um, I've been terrified of scaring her away by making her think that I want to have a massive relationship. I'm terrified she's going to give up on me. But one thing she can be sure of is I'm going to aggressively pursue this until she comes to me and says, do not talk to me again. Leave me alone. I don't want to have anything else to do with you, which I hope she doesn't do. Until that happens, I'm going to aggressively pursue her. And I hope that we can uh, maintain this connection because I've never felt this type of fulfillment. It, it's almost as if all the pain and the agony in my life has been temporarily released in the moment that I'm spending with her. And uh, even though we're very far away at, some, at certain times, I still feel like we're connected. Like she's on my mind and I'm on hers. So if you guys have any advice, please feel free to write. Thank you.